I want you to imagine something with me. You're sitting in a packed conference hall in New York City. The lights dim, and everyone grows quiet as a figure walks onto the stage. But this isn't just anyone. This is a 105-year-old man who climbs the stairs without assistance, stands at the podium, and delivers a 90-minute lecture without sitting down even once. His name was Dr. Shigeaki Hinohara, and at 101 years old, his mind was sharper than most people half his age. Now, here's what nobody in that room knew. Dr. Hinohara carried a secret with him, something he did every single night for over 80 years that modern neuroscience has only recently proven to be one of the most powerful methods of brain protection ever discovered. The fascinating part? He never told anyone the real reason behind his ritual. He simply did it, night after night, decade after decade. What took scientists at Harvard, Stanford, and the University of Rochester millions of dollars and years of research to understand, Dr. Hinohara had figured out through pure intuition. And when you hear what his secret actually was, you might laugh at how simple it sounds. But I promise you, the science behind it will blow your mind. Right now, at this very moment, toxic proteins are accumulating in your brain. These same proteins are found in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. They're clouding your thinking, weakening your memory, and determining whether you'll have a sharp mind or struggle with cognitive decline in your later years. But what if I told you that tonight, yes, tonight, you could start reversing this process using the exact same practice that kept Dr. Hinohara mentally vibrant until his final day? The secret lies in what he did during the 60 minutes before sleep. But before I reveal those practices, you need to understand something extraordinary that happens inside your brain every single night. While you sleep, your brain activates a hidden cleaning system that most people don't even know exists. In 2013, researchers at the University of Rochester made a groundbreaking discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. They found something called the glymphatic system, your brain's own janitorial crew that only works the night shift. Here's what makes this discovery so remarkable. While you sleep, this system becomes 60% more active. It uses cerebrospinal fluid to wash through your brain tissue like a power washer, clearing away metabolic waste and toxic proteins that build up during your waking hours. Your brain cells actually shrink by 60% during deep sleep, creating superhighways for this cleaning fluid to rush through and sweep away the garbage that would otherwise poison your mind. But here's the catch that changes everything. This system doesn't automatically activate just because you fall asleep. It requires specific conditions, specific states of being that must be created before you even close your eyes. Dr. Hinohara had been creating these exact conditions every night without even realizing the neuroscience behind what he was doing. Scientists discovered something terrifying in their research, People who fail to activate this cleaning system properly accumulate brain toxins 43% faster. These are the exact same proteins that destroy memory, cloud thinking, and steal decades from your cognitive lifespan. The difference between someone who activates this system and someone who doesn't isn't just about sleep quality. It's about whether their brain ages gracefully or deteriorates prematurely. Now, here's where Dr. Wei Hinohara's approach became revolutionary. While the entire medical establishment obsessed over rigid sleep schedules and complex protocols, Dr. Hinohara did something that seemed almost rebellious. He ignored most of the rules. In a rare interview, he revealed his philosophy. We all remember how as children, when we were having fun, we often forgot to eat or sleep. I believe we can keep that attitude as adults, too. It's best not to tire the body with too many rules. This wasn't just folksy wisdom from an old doctor. This was cutting-edge neuroscience disguised as simplicity. 
what Dr. Hinohara understood intuitively, Harvard researchers would later prove in their laboratories approaching bedtime with anxiety and rigid rules actually triggers your stress response, flooding your brain with cortisol and blocking the very processes that clean and restore your mind. The medical world was teaching people to fight their way to better sleep. Dr. Hinohara had learned to dance his way there instead. Studies now show that people who approach sleep with this relaxed philosophy experience 30% better memory consolidation and 25% more efficient brain detoxification. The secret wasn't just in what he did, but in how he approached doing it. So, what were these mysterious practices? Dr. Hinohara's secret consisted of three simple activities that he performed in the hour before sleep. Each one seemed ordinary on its surface, but together they created a perfect neurochemical symphony that prepared his brain for optimal restoration. The first practice he called his evening reflection. Every night, Dr. Hinohara would sit quietly and replay his entire day like watching a movie in his mind. But here was the crucial rule. He never tried to change the plot. No problem solving, no planning, no fixing yesterday's mistakes, just gentle observation, watching the scenes of his day unfold in his memory without judgment or analysis. Modern brain imaging reveals why this works so powerfully. This practice activates the exact neural networks needed for memory consolidation while simultaneously reducing stress hormones by up to 35%. It triggers something called hippocampal replay, where your brain replays the day's experiences at high speed, strengthening important memories and discarding useless information. But this only happens when your brain enters a specific relaxed state that cannot be forced, and Dr. Hinohara's gentle observation method was the perfect key to unlock this process. His second practice surprised everyone who knew him, while other people his age avoided any physical activity before bed, Dr. Hinohara engaged in gentle movement. This seemed to break every sleep rule in the medical books. Aren't you supposed to wind down completely before sleep? Isn't movement too stimulating? But research has now proven Dr. Hinohara was right all along. His specific type of gentle movement increased brain-cleaning fluid flow by 40%. It primed the glymphatic system, creating highways for toxins to be flushed from the brain during sleep. He would stretch areas that felt tight, move in ways that felt natural, sometimes take a slow walk around his home. This wasn't exercise. It was a gentle awakening of his body's cleaning systems, preparing them to work in perfect harmony with his brain's restoration processes overnight. The third practice was perhaps the most powerful of all. Dr. Hinohara would spend his final waking minutes hunting for three moments from his day that sparked wonder, curiosity, or joy. They didn't have to be big moments. Often they were tiny, the taste of his morning tea, an interesting patient conversation, sunlight on a flower. He called this his gratitude hunt. Neuroscientists have now discovered this practice increases production of GABA and melatonin by up to 35% while strengthening the brain regions responsible for emotional resilience. It literally rewires your brain for positivity and stress resistance. The practice boosts production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that grows new neural connections and protects existing ones from age-related damage. But the real magic wasn't in these practices individually. It was in how they worked together, creating a synergistic effect that was greater than the sum of its parts. Brain scans of people doing all three practices showed 30% more deep sleep. 25% better memory consolidation, and 40% more efficient toxin clearance. Dr. Hinohara had unknowingly created the perfect recipe for cognitive longevity. Now let me show you exactly how to recreate this in your own life. The timing matters more than you might think. 
Your brain needs to prepare its cleaning systems in advance, like a restaurant kitchen getting ready for service. Irregular timing means the machinery simply isn't ready when you need it. About 60 minutes before your intended sleep time, begin your twilight transition. Dim your lights by half, not because someone told you to, but because this triggers your brain to start producing melatonin. Put away your devices, understanding that blue light can sabotage two hours of brain cleaning processes. 40 minutes before bed, enter your evening reflection for 15 to 20 minutes. Sit comfortably and become the observer of your own day. Start from when you woke up and gently move through each experience. When your mind tries to problem solve or plan tomorrow, simply return to observation. You're not trying to accomplish anything. You're creating the neurochemical conditions for your brain to do its deepest work later. 25 minutes before bed, engage in your gentle movement for 10 to 15 minutes. This isn't a workout. Stretch, move slowly, let your body guide you. You're preparing your lymphatic system to work with your brain's cleaning crew overnight. Ten minutes before bed, conduct your gratitude hunt for five to ten minutes. Search your day for three moments that sparked any positive feeling. Let them be small. Let them be simple. You're programming your brain for resilience and triggering the neurochemical cascade that will optimize your sleep. Now, I need to warn you about the traps that sabotage most people who try this. 90% of people make mistakes that turn these powerful practices into stress-inducing failures. The deadliest mistake is perfectionism. The moment you start judging your performance or forcing yourself to do it right, you trigger stress hormones that block the very processes you're trying to activate. Your brain's cleaning system only works when you're in a state of relaxed awareness, not anxious performance. Another trap is forcing relaxation. When stretching becomes aggressive, when gratitude becomes a chore, when reflection becomes analysis, you've shut down the parasympathetic processes that do the real healing work. Dr. Hinohara understood this deeply. His approach was always gentle, always curious, never forced. Many people also expect to feel dramatically different after a few nights and quit when changes seem subtle. But brain scans reveal the truth. The most profound neurological changes happen gradually over three to four weeks as neural pathways rewire and cleaning systems optimize. Dr. Hinohara practiced these techniques for over 80 years because he understood that true cognitive protection is built through the patient accumulation of thousands of nights of optimal brain restoration. So, what can you actually expect if you commit to this practice? The results documented in peer-reviewed research read like science fiction. After 18 months, people following this routine showed 25% better performance on memory tests. But here's what's truly incredible. Brain scans revealed their hippocampus and prefrontal cortex had strengthened connections that typically weaken with age. They weren't just remembering better. Their brains were literally rewiring themselves for enhanced memory formation. Longitudinal studies showed people maintaining these pre-sleep routines demonstrated cognitive flexibility equivalent to people five to seven years younger. Their brains became more adaptable, more creative, more resilient to stress. The nightly restoration was turning back their cognitive clock. Perhaps most remarkable, a 15-year study of over 41,000 adults revealed that people with high-quality sleep preparation routines had a 35% lower risk of developing dementia. The nightly brain cleaning was literally washing away the toxic proteins that destroy memory and thinking. Brain imaging studies showed that people following these practices for over a year had increased gray matter volume in regions associated with learning, memory, and emotional regulation. Their brain structure resembled people significantly younger, suggesting the routine was slowing or even reversing age-related brain shrinkage. You're now standing at a crossroads. 
You know the secret that took scientists millions of dollars and years of research to discover. The same secret that kept Dr. Shigaki Hinohara mentally sharp until he died at 105 years old. Every night you don't activate your brain's cleaning system is a night of accumulated toxins, missed memory consolidation, and lost opportunities for cognitive protection. But every night you do follow this protocol is an investment in your future self, the person you'll be at 70, 80, 90, and beyond. Dr. Hinohara showed us that cognitive vitality isn't determined by genetics or luck. It's created by what we do in those precious 60 minutes before sleep. The research is conclusive. The practices are simple. The potential benefits are extraordinary. Your brain is waiting for you to unlock its most powerful restoration processes. Your future self is counting on the decision you make right now. The secret is no longer hidden. The path is clear. Your transformation begins the moment you close your eyes tonight. But Dr. Hinohara's wisdom didn't stop at sleep. He discovered something equally powerful about what you do in the first 30 minutes after waking. A morning ritual that compounds the benefits of your nighttime routine and can multiply your cognitive protection by up to three times. The science behind this morning practice is just as remarkable, and I'll reveal it in the next video. If this resonated with you, type yes in the comments below. It helps us know you want more life-changing discoveries like this. Click the like button if you're ready to start your 60-minute brain transformation tonight. And subscribe so you don't miss Dr. S Hinohara's morning secret that could triple everything you've learned today. Your journey to a sharper, more resilient mind has just begun. I'll see you in the next video where we unlock the other half of Dr. Hinohara's cognitive longevity formula.